Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and today I have some sneak peeks to show you. Yay! I'm so excited. Uh, Diamond Art Club sent these canvases to me to share with you all to announce a very special pairing, partnering. Diamond Art Club is now going to be available at Michael's and they have an exclusive line at the moment. Uh, bush, bush. There is a caveat. If you're an international customer, I'm going to put the details up here on the screen. I will link them down below. You can have a look. They are going to be allowing international Diamond Art Club fans to get a special email allowing them to purchase through their website and it'll be sent to them because they found out that a lot of people like us like me who live abroad really love them and don't want to miss out so I have two very special kits to show you today and they're both having to do with cats big cats so I hope you're ready are you having a good day so far I'm having a pretty good day I can't complain uh, I was feeling a little under the weather there uh, after my second dose, but we are all good now. And a truck just pulled up outside my house, so hopefully Luna doesn't go bananas. How are you doing? Happy Friday. This is so exciting. Every Friday I open the Diamond Art Club <laughs> is a good day. So let me just get it out of the plastic because we, we don't want to fight with the plastic. Are you ready? So the first one is... Star Maker by Yume Art. Look at that beautiful tiger. It's a pretty blue tiger. It's a square drill kit and it's a 51 by 76 centimeter or a 20 inch by 30 inch. Big. Not, not humongous, but big. So let's go ahead and look at what comes inside this kit. These will be on michaels.com. I have all the details down below so that you you can get all the information. So we have the sticker that we, I put on the outside of the box. We have a toolkit. comes with everything that you need to start diamond painting. So pen, tweezers, baggies, a comfort grip or a squishy as I call it. Two plates of pink wax and a clear drill boat to put those diamonds in. There's also a four placer in there. And then in here we have the canvas and the drills. I never get that open. <laughs> it always rips. So in the dust sleeve, we have a bag of diamonds. It's labeled with the name of the kit. That's a lot of dark colors, but I can see an AB in there. It's shine bright. And I'm going to go ahead and roll us backwards. Now, as you know, Diamond Art Club, it comes with this really soft velveteen canvas. It's a poured glue diamond painting, meaning that if you're going to be, um, diamond painting on poured glue is a different experience than double-sided tape, and I have a video all about that. I'll go ahead and link that there. Um, but before we look at the canvas, let's look at this. This is the inventory sheet slash, you know, uh, the legend. You can see all the colors and the symbols. This is pre-cut, so you can just peel it right off and get started diamond painting, which I think is really great. There are 33 colors in this kit, and that picture is so beautiful. Love it. And we have, there are two Aurora Borealis diamonds. So, ready? Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, you guys, can you see it all? I can barely get it into the full frame, but as you can see here at the top, we've got the background. It's all black, <laughs> lots of color blocking. Then we have this beautiful shimmer that's going on here and the lily pads on his back. Ugh, Yume Art is one of my favorite artists. She is so talented. Oh, I forgot the instruction booklet. We don't need that, but wow, that is so pretty. Okay, so this, like I said, it's a square drill diamond painting. So the grid is square. I'm going to show you what the, a close-up of what this looks like. So here you can see the drill field. It's quite clear. 
Let's see if I can bring you to his eyes slow enough. Oh, there's one eye. Can you see it? Yeah, this is this is gorgeous. The printing is very clear. We don't need a light pad. The canvas is going to be super sticky as well. I'm going to bring you back up so don't get sick. Whoop. And I'll show you that. If you don't like the clear film, they do sell release paper as well. And I like to use release paper on mine because it just makes sectioning easier for me. Because once you cut that kind of flimsy, um, the plastic on top is a little bit flimsy and it can tear very easy. So I like to use the release papers that they provide. But that is what the canvas looks like and is absolutely gorgeous. Let's have a look at these drills. If you want to skip this part, I'll put the timestamp just here. All right, so let's zoom Come in a little bit. How many bags of 310? One, two, three, four, five, five big bags of 310. And they are gorgeous. They are super shiny and sparkly in there. Then we have three bags of 939, which is a dark navy blue. Seven ninety six, eight twenty. We've got two bags of that, and we have one forty one, which is the first Aurora Borealis color. So you can see there that it's got this metallic, iridescent shimmer on top. That makes all of the drills around it kind of sh sparkle brighter as well. But it's just to enhance the painting. I'll show you where these go in just a few minutes. 322, 334, 797, by two, 779, 895, we've got two bags of, no, one bag, sorry, 895 and then 890, we've got 712, that's one strip done, go please. 823, dark blue, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, and we have two more 310s. So is that seven bags of 310? These are so shiny. I'm trying to see, because I think, I think these might be the new drills they were talking about. I think these are the new drills they were talking about, where it's all the one type of facet. <gasps> going to make it sparkle a whole lot more and it's going to take care of all of that OCD that some some people don't like to have the two different shapes on the top. So this is 3755, 775, 3024, 904, 938, 3860, 780. Oh, what is that? That's a little spillage. Can you see that? <laughs> it kind of looks like a piece of grilled cheese. It's not. 3861, 3371, 905, 648, 550, 743, 131, very few, but those are the orange, AB, very pretty, and then 815. All right, let's have a look and see where those special diamonds go. Just bring it out again. So the first one that we saw was the white one, and um, that's the number two on the canvas. And I can see it in the tail here, in the center of the tail, in these lotus most of the lotus flowers and then these big patches of white as well on the tiger center of these flowers 
all along the cheeks and the face, highlighting all of those white areas. That's definitely <laughs> gonna sparkle like crazy. And then the number one, we've got them in the centers of some of the lotus flowers. And here, and then I see that they are in the center of the eyes as well for the tiger. <gasps> How beautiful! Oh, this is gonna be gorgeous. What do you think? Hmm? I love the detail that's in the lily pads. You don't see it like I can't see it with my eyes as well as the camera is picking it up right now. And you can also see the movement in the water with the rippling. Um, and that's how they've they've used different colors here than the background. So this is all black and this is T, which is 939. So it's very close to black. And that way there look it looks like there's movement this is going to be stunning this is going to be absolutely beautiful oh my gosh i really want to do this one okay so that is the star maker by you may art 51 by 76. now i'm going to pack this away and i'm going to show you the second kit here is the second diamond painting that is going to be released on michaels.com this weekend and I'm so excited to share it with you. I know that a lot of you are fans of big cats. As am I. <laughs> now this box did get a little bit crunched in shipping. But I'm sure that everything is okay inside. This is also a square and it's called Guardian. Guardian by Cameron Gray. Look at that beautiful, beautiful lion and the earth. We're going to see a better picture here in a minute. It is a square drill and it's 56 by 56 centimeters. So it's a little bit smaller and more manageable for those of us who might be overwhelmed by the big ones. And here I have the, again, the sticker and we've got the toolkit, which has exactly the same contents as before. Diamond Art Club, do what makes you sparkle. And in here is the same again. Got the canvas and the drills and the instruction booklet <laughs> and the inventory sheet. All right, I'll show you what it looks like this time without rolling it backwards. Ready? Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> there we go. <gasps> Look at all the purple. Oh, I was not expecting that. How cool. All right, so we've got the legend again. 52 colors. Wow. So square drill, 56 by 56, 52 colors. And there are four Aurora Borealis diamonds, four ABs. Wow, that's really cool. All right, we'll put that to the side in instruction booklet for those who are new. And here are all the diamonds. Look at those beautiful colors right up my alley. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I love blue and purple. Can't get enough and teal. All right, we'll look at those in just a minute. So I like to roll mine backwards just so I can show you uh, what the canvas looks like flattened. If you just leave it on the on your desk, it'll actually naturally flatten, but we don't have time for that. This is YouTube. <laughs> so here we go. Wow, I love it. Okay, this <laughs> it seems so small, but it really isn't. It's actually quite big. Um, I love the details here. So we've got some kind of like electric kind of looking zigzags happening. You can see there's like a desert here, maybe like um, a desert sunrise, possibly. I guess interpretations are all individual, but you know, I think it's really cool. And I love that the eyes stand out so well. That's really pretty. Now I can tell that one, at least one of the Aurora Borealis diamonds is going to be white because that is going to be like hanging out inside of parts of the main there and at the top of the earth. But we, we're going to have a look here in just a minute of what those diamonds look like. But let's look at this drill field. So one good thing about Diamond Art Club is that they typically stay with the same symbols, uh, but those could be different colors. So you definitely need to make sure that you've got you know, the right color. It's not always the same color for that exact symbol. But they do chart using the same symbol types, which makes it easy to recognize on the canvas after a while if you do a couple. Um, so this, I again, 
really easy to see. I can see the specks of glitter in the canvas as well. It's super shiny. I don't know if you can tell that with my very, um, very rainy Irish day outside, but it's gorgeous. It's really pretty. This has a lot of what we call confetti. So there's a lot of color changing in each section that you open up, except for the background, of course. Oh, but it's gorgeous. It's really, really pretty. pretty. And I love all the purples and the pinks and the blues. I will never stop. Can't stop, won't stop. <laughs> so yes, that's gonna look gorgeous. Like this close, it doesn't really look like much. You know what I mean? But then when you zoom out, you can kind of see how that picture forms. And that's why it's important to, you You need to stand at the right distance from the diamond painting once it's complete or when you're working on it. Cause sometimes it can, it can fool you, you know? I trust the process, <laughs> as Ella used to say. All right, let's have a look at these diamonds. Again, if you want to skip, follow that number on the slidey scale. Oh, I think this has my favorite AB. All right. Hmm. The packaging is a little bit different, but that's okay. So look at this. We've got 158 which is like an indigo, and 939. Ooh, that's a lot of 939. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven bags of 939. 336, 823, one, two, three, four, Four bags of 823. Is it just me or does it look sparklier? Diamond Art Club. What's going on? <laughs> We've got 797 and 136. <gasps> it's my favorite AB. Look at this. So this is a dark blue, or I guess a medium blue, maybe a 797, sort of, a little bit lighter. 796 maybe with that iridescent coating on the top. I love these when they're set down. They look amazing. We've got 820. 820. Oh, love that color. I think I think I think I might be right. I think these might be the updated upgraded Diamond Art Club made in-house drills, which is awesome. 792 798 3746 333 and 322. And now we get the littler, littler, the smaller bags. 550, 340, 799, 155, all these pastels, lovely. 3325, 3755, 312, 3807, 598, 334, 3841, 775, AB, 141. Pretty. This is the white one. You saw it there when it went out of focus. It's kind of like super shiny. Yeah, love it. 209, 208, 310. Thank you, after the last one. 210, 38, 37, 38, 34, and 503. And then even smaller bags. Look at this. This is where the greens come in. 327, 3811, 128. Look at that one. A soft pink AB. Very shiny. It's hard to see it when they're in small amounts, but wow. They are really pretty. 597, 3836, 318, 317. <gasps> what? Black ABs? Wait, has, is this the first black AB kit? Dude, that is so cool. So we've got black ABs, 102. I've never had black ABs in a Diamond Art Club kit before. <gasps> Yay! 3727, 413, 712, 
414, nobody cares about these colors because they're not black AB, 30, 51, 415, 30, 24, 562, 3607, okay, 3607 is pretty. 3052, 647, and 648. Okay, let's look. Where do these go? Black AB is around the eyes. Of course it is. I was like, why does it look so dark around the eyes when 310 is, you know, this little dot up here? See the, the dot just there? And see how this is like way darker for some reason? Yeah. So that's the black AB. <laughs> that's so cool. Uh, the number two on the canvas is the pink AB. So I can see that kind of here. There's twos, twos, twos down here in the sky of the desert. I'm going to call it a desert. I'm not sure what that is. Let me see. I know it's the earth. Yeah, it's kind of Grand Canyon E, isn't it? Grand Canyon E. Anyway, uh, that's the pink one. And then the number three on the kit is the blue. So the blue is in these kind of stripey areas. We've got some here and throughout the main. Yeah, all throughout the main. Oh my goodness. It's like highlighting everywhere in the main. And there's some in the whiskers here in the face, outlining the sides of the face, a little bit here as well. And then number four is the white. So we know where the white is going to be. It's going to be in the stars. It's on all those little white dots everywhere uh, that you can see from a distance. And again, it's in like a little bit of the mane here. We've got it again at the top of the earth, this little atmosphere area. That is so cool. And this is, who is this again? Cameron Gray, artlicensing.com. So they've li licensed this image from the website, which is awesome. Wow, I really like this one. Okay, I'll zoom you out again. I like this one a lot, and this is not gonna take very long at all. I'd love to know what you think, so please let me know down below which one was your favorite, the Guardian, which is this one, or Star Maker, which is the tiger. Um, and are you going to get one this weekend? Again, I'll have more information down, for, down below in the description box and maybe pinned to a comment down below this video so that you can have a look at what's going on this weekend. And I, for one, just have, I think that it makes a good business decision to be branching out to different craft supply stores because not everyone is comfortable buying online. Not everybody understands it or wants to wait for it. They just want to walk into a store and buy it. And I can understand that and appreciate that. So I'm not one to judge Diamond Art Club on their decisions at all, but I think that it's really cool that they listen to your feedback because they've been an online business for so long that they want to make people happy and come to compromises. So please have a look at that down below. I hope that you all have a wonderful day. Thank you so much Diamond Art Club for sending me these beautiful canvases to share with everyone. I think that they're gorgeous. And of course, they fit my aesthetic as well. I mean, come on, <laughs> Nightbringer. Um, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I will see you all really soon in my next video. Take care, everyone.